I can still hit them. I can't hit that little ball, though. Well, baseball is in your blood. If, I mean, if somebody doesn't like baseball, I think they're absolutely out of their mind. How'd I get into it? Well, I love sports. You know, play out in the field with the boys. Sandlot, we'd throw a shirt down on the field for first base and second base. Or I took chalk and put it on the cement when I pitched and practiced hitting. You know, I grew up without television. <laughs> you, you probably never met anybody that grew, unless it was your great grandmother that grew up without television. So that's why we played ball. Walking out on the field and saw the light up the beautiful diamond with the chalk mark and our lines and everything and the flag waving out there. And you know what you say? Oh, Maybell, you're a professional baseball player. I'm here for our reunion. I think it's the 80th uh, reunion of uh, the League of Their Own. I mean, of the All-Americans. It is the 80th anniversary of the All-American Women's Baseball League, and it's great to be here to celebrate with them this milestone. They're very inspirational. They all have wonderful stories, and that still after 80 years, them continuing to come together as much as they can to share their stories and be together. It's really amazing. The first four teams that ever played for the All-American Girls Baseball League, the Rockford Peaches, the South Bend Blue Sox, the Racine Bells, and the Kenosha Comets. The Kenosha Comets were part of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. They were more than just a baseball team. They were a symbol of determination, passion, and progress in women's sports. The story of the Kenosha Comets begins with none other than Phil Wrigley, longtime owner of the Chicago Cubs. During the war, he wanted to make sure baseball stayed alive in America. With this in mind, he came to the conclusion that he wanted to start a women's baseball league. In 1942, Kenosha became one of the first four original teams to join the league, chosen for its proximity and its potential. The Comets officially opened the 1943 season in their home city. Unless they've seen some actual footage of us playing ball. I don't think they have any idea of how good we were. We played good baseball. I led my team in almost every category. Hits, runs, RBIs, home runs, stolen bases, you name it. If you only lost two games in four years, you remember those two games. I don't really want to pat myself on the back, but that was pretty good. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? It's better than eating, sleeping, or dreaming, or whatever. You get it in your blood, and it never leaves. And I'm 96 now, and it'll never leave until I'm on the other side of the grass. Uh, then I'm still sure I'll be in my casket thinking about it. Hey, throw me that sucker. Oh, don't pitch it to me like that. Throw it to me. See, I can still catch. Hey, yeah, you can. You know, once people saw them play ball, I mean, they thought, these girls are good. And we were good, you know? I mean, it wasn't just out there throwing the ball around, like on the playground or something like that. You know, this was our job. Our fans were loyal. They came every night. We played seven nights a week with doubleheaders on Sunday. Probably the most harassing we got was when we were talking about each other, when I was giving Sue a bad time about being a peach and how we still hate the Rockford peaches. You know, it was competition among ourselves rather than uh, from outside. I just was really a, a rookie for two years, learning, scared to death, playing in front of all those fans. And, you know, girls never had an opportunity to be like the boys in the stadium, even in the high school. You know, we never had people watching us play anything. And I thought I was the cutest girl that ever lived, you know, being in a uniform like that with the dress and everything. I loved it. We didn't have sliding pads. So right today, you can still feel gravel out of my rear end here. I'm assuming you've all seen A League of Their Own, the movie. It's about 75% accurate, I think. No manager would have called, there's no crying in baseball, you know. So you're saying there is crying in baseball? 
There is a lot, and as you're absolutely right, there is crying in baseball, quite a bit. Oh, my biggest advice is uh, for ball players, women ball players, or women athletes in general, is follow your passion. Give it everything you've got. Go for it, in other words. Do what feels natural. If you have athletic ability, then use it. Uh, about four or five years ago, the All-Americans created a subsidiary. We named it American Girls Baseball. And the whole idea of that was to promote girls and women's baseball in this country, which was being neglected. And I think one of the things that got me going on it, uh, we had a players meeting, and a few of the people in the players meeting said, Sue, they're not doing anything. And, and then I came back home and I found this little girl playing Little League, and she was gonna be promoted to softball the next year. She said, Sue, I don't like softball and they are gonna make me play it. And I thought, this is wrong. Because that was me 80 years ago. Uh, all the sports that we have now came from our league of our own movie. Um, it got girls interested in sports, but yeah, we never had a professional women's baseball team. Figure that one out. The point is that women all, and there are 29 countries that have professional baseball, but the United States has it, but no one knows about it. And we certainly don't have a league. I would love to see another professional baseball team for the ladies. I mean, I think all of us in the, our league are hopeful for future women's baseball teams. We would love to see it. It'll not never be another league of their own like ours, but there should be a league. Thank you to everyone for welcoming us here. It's been wonderful to get to play um, in a historic city, a historic town. Yes. But a huge thank you goes out to all of you for just paving the way for us. So we have a little gift just to say thank you from all of us at USA Baseball who are here because of you all. So thank you. We support you. Thanks for all you do. The All-American Girls Professional Baseball League 80th Reunion held in Kenosha was an extraordinary event that truly showcased the rich history of women's baseball. Getting a chance to come back to historic Simmons Field for a game versus USA Women's Team and the Women's League was an amazing sight to see. Simmons Field is a very special place in Kenosha. Located not far from our beautiful lakefront, Simmons Field has been a pillar in baseball for the community for many years. It was an honor for Kenosha, the proud home of the Kenosha Comets, to host this momentous occasion. We wanted to ensure Kenosha never forgets its deep history in women's sports. To honor this, Kenosha County has officially proclaimed August 3rd through the 5th, 2023 as Kenosha Comets and the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League Days. Women's baseball players who are here in attendance today as we celebrate the NBA.